You welcome to Wisdom Through Dreams today. Today we shall look together reasons why you do not understand or remember your dreams. The unrighteous lifestyle, the godless lifestyle that have no relationship with God. Of course, who wouldn't allow you to understand even when you have been spoken to in dreams, when you are given clean, clear instructions in dreams. Now, it makes you believe, begin to believe, um, when you do not understand your dreams, it makes you begin to believe that those stereotype kind of interpretations of dreams that say, hey, when you see this in dream, it means this. It must just mean this. So you just have to do this. <laughs> no, it doesn't, doesn't work like that. And when you believe such kind of, that, 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 those kind of, of stereotypes, I I interpretations, you know what happens? There will be no testimony. The benefit of dreams at this point is completely eroded. Dreams comes by the outpouring of the Spirit of God. Remember the scriptures, the book of Joel and the book of Acts of the Apostles says, that I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions. So it comes actually by, by the outpouring of, of God's Spirit. Let's look at scriptures. And see how the, the people in the days of scriptures had it so easily. A man like Joseph, the foster father of Jesus. The scripture says that he was a just man. So the message was very clear to him. The, the angel spoke to him in a dream. He woke up the next day and did the bidding of the spirit. He said it was as clear as that. How about King Abimelech? King Abimelech took another person's wife. And this is like a warning to people that, to everyone that, 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 that did and, 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 and engage in affairs with the wives of other people or the husbands of other people, God abhors it. It is wickedness. And of course, you don't expect God to have spoken to you in that condition when you indulge in such and you understand it. It brings about outright death. Now look at the story of King Abimelech, Genesis 20. He took another man's wife. Now, this time unknowingly, he was ignorant of that fact because he was being lied to. The, the Bible says he was, he told the Lord that because of the integrity of his heart, he decided not to do any, not to touch the woman. And God told him, yes, because of your, that integrity of your heart, that's why you were spared. And then he was able to gain the benefits of, of that dream. Because of that right standing with God that he has had. Joseph, the young Joseph that had dreams about those sheaves, about his brethren and his parents. Look at the sincerity of his heart. Eventually his dream turned out to be a testimony. Now, people have countless dreams. One question we need to ask, do those dreams, do they translate to testimonies? Do we understand these instructions that are being passed out to us in the dreams? The soldier in Judges chapter 7 was interpreting, was narrating a dream to his colleague, who of course must be a righteous one. The Bible says Gideon was there, was listening. And the interpretation was very clear there that this was the victory for Gideon in the battle they were to engage at that time. And so it turned out. So, in the days of scriptures, the understanding, interpretation of dream was very easy, well understood. It is these days that the lifestyles of people has corrupted the messages they receive in the, in the spirit from the Almighty. The messages about their marriage, their careers, their, their every endeavor of life. All their relocations. And then, you see them, they begin to plunge into death where it is not right for them about solomon king solomon that sincerity that right standing with god he spoke to the almighty god and the lord came into him in a dream by night he understood the message clearly well and he became god gave him wisdom in the dream and he lived with that wisdom all his life we see we saw what happened to him now let's come back to someone like a king nebuchadnezzar that was a godless man so he couldn't understand his dream. You see the difference here? He couldn't understand his dreams. It took someone like Daniel to come and be interpreting these dreams for him. The same applied to a man like Pharaoh. He couldn't understand his dream. It took a just man 
like Joseph from the prison, to come interpret and even told him the steps to take. King Saul, when he started living this wild life, a life of disobedience to God, you know what happened? He, he confessed. He said, hey, the Almighty does not even speak to him again in dreams as he used to, and he was used to. Because the lifestyle at this time had changed. So you may be out there and say, hey, why don't I understand my dreams? Now, go check out your lifestyle. How about Jacob? In Genesis 28, the Bible says, Jacob understood the latter experience, that dream. He woke up, he knew what to do. And years later, he came back with great testimony. As a hinge on the dream he has had previously. And when he was even enslaved in the hands of that shrewd uh, leader, where he was suffering and laboring, he could understand his dream. He was not, he, he was living a very pure life, came out so clean, and the Almighty God helped him. He understood his dream and became wealthier than the man that employed him. Hey, what's the way out? When you don't understand your dreams, it calls for some kind of prayers. It calls for repentance here. It calls for rededication of your life to, to Christ. And I'd like to do that with you this morning, this day, wherever you're watching. If you are the type that you catch these dreams and you do not understand, let's pray together. Bow down your heads and say with me, my Father in heaven, I thank you. I give you praise. I bring myself before you today. I repent of all my sins. Have mercy on me. Lead me, guide me, direct me by your spirit. Empower me to serve you much more than ever before. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, I pray for everyone that has prayed this prayer and has made you the Lord of their lives. Father, pave the way for them and pull them closer to yourself. You will in no wise cast them away. And let their relationship with you be firmer than ever before. And let them have clearer experiences with you as you speak with them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'd like you to like this video. Share this video with your friends, your loved ones. And of course, comment. If you have concerns, comment on this video. Ask questions for prompt answers here. And then you can as well join my WhatsApp Mm, you know, my virt virtual prayer time group via the whatsapp link that is beneath in the comment section so we could pray some prayers that pertain some dreams that needed prayers i'll see you in the next videos god bless you richly